whether or not uh, this order was lawful or, you know, right. what, you yeah, know, yeah. Because yeah. how far is far enough? You know, yeah. can can the cop tell you? And this was brought up in the trial by the defense attorney. Can the cop tell you I need you to move a mile that way? Free talk live. Talking about what it's like to be a young journalist, uh, Hilda. Leshak is uh, a journalist at age 12, and she's been doing it since she was eight years old, went down to Arizona for a story and ended up being confronted by a police officer who was quite insecure and very upset that she dared to follow him down a road wow. on her bicycle um, and attempts to intimidate her rambles when she asks him a question simple question well what is it that i'm doing that's illegal sir mountain lion ian mountain oh well, yeah and lion. then he brings up this mountain lion that's supposedly on the loose claims he's just trying to keep her safe that she shouldn't be following him around so on and so forth and then he gives her a direct order to go away basically claiming that that's a lawful order now what in this, does that even mean well that's a good question ben because this is dangerous territory with uh with the police because if a police officer gives you a so-called lawful order and you disobey the lawful order you're then guilty of what they call disorderly conduct mm-hmm. and disorderly conduct is one of the police's favorite charges it's because, a catch-all yeah it's a catch-all and they can basically get you convicted of it just because they said so. Mm-hmm. Um, now, whether or not the order was actually lawful is a hard thing to discern because in the moment, it's their word versus your word. The officer says, I'm giving you an order. Well, you may disagree that it's a lawful order, but the only way you're ever going to get to find out is in court. Mm-hmm. So if you don't do what the officer says in that case, which usually is to leave a place or to get back or something like that, uh, then you'll have to fight it out in court. And so generally the best thing to do when dealing with a psycho like this, mm-hmm. this cop, like these cops can be dangerous men with guns who can hurt you is if they give you an order, even if you don't agree with it, it's probably a good idea to go yeah, ahead and yeah. back away. Um, you know, here in, in Keene, New Hampshire, we had a situation with a former co-host on Free Talk Live. who's since left the area, but he was reporting uh, from the scene of a suicide attempt, which okay. actually ended up being a, a suicide. Uh, but anyway, from the scene of this suicide attempt where the cops had come, they'd, they'd like cordoned off uh, the, the area. Mm. And, um, it was a man in, in front of his house talking to the police. He has a gun. My guy, James Cleveland from Free Talk Live, mm-hmm. he was behind the row of houses. So he wasn't within shooting distance of the man with the gun or anything mm-hmm. like that. Uh, but he was behind that that house reporting, trying to get footage of what was going on with the mm-hmm. police. And the police confronted him back there and they said, you need to get back. This is a dangerous, you know, area, active crime scene. Mm-hmm. You need to get back. So he he went back. He moved back mm-hmm. per the mm-hmm. request of the police officer. Then they came back and told him he needed to move back further. And at that point, he was like. No, I feel like I'm safe here. Okay. I feel like I've I've gone back far enough. And he he planted his feet there and wasn't going to move. So they arrested him and charged him with disorderly conduct and uh, and I think resisting arrest in that case. He went hmm. to trial. the uh, The jury was hung on that trial. They actually found him not guilty. I think of resisting, and they were hung on the disorderly conduct charge. Meaning, not all the jurors voted mm-hmm. in the same way Mm -hmm. and i don't i'm sorry i don't recall what the numbers were as far as how many of them voted to not guilty versus guilty Mm -hmm. but anyway it was a hung jury and so when that happens the state can bring the charges again if they want to they can basically just keep bringing the charges every time they get a hung jury and so the basically that meant that the jury couldn't really determine whether or not uh this order was lawful or you know yeah yeah yeah, yeah. because how far is far enough you know, yeah. can can the cop tell you? And this was brought up in the trial by the defense attorney. Can the cop tell you? I need you to move a mile that way. You know? Twenty-five miles. Right. I mean, what, what's, what is the radius? What right. is the radius? Yeah. So what's too far? I mean, he he felt he wasn't in danger. He felt that he'd gone far enough. He get, he went he went back when they asked him to initially. Right. So it wasn't like he was completely non-cooperative with them. Uh, but it wasn't good enough of a defense to get him not guilty. So luckily, in that case, they decided to not bring the charges again, oh. and the case got dropped. So thank goodness in that case. But, but what a waste of like what a waste he spent of six resources. Grand, six grand on the attorney. 
Yeah. Yeah, I've been through I've been through the same uh, sort of situation, man, where it's just like you walk away like, well, that was a gigantic waste. Right. Of so, everybody's time and money. So in a case like this, you know, leaving when the cop tells you to, even mm-hmm. if you don't think that it's the right thing to do, or at least backing away slowly. I like the Dave Ridley approach. Uh, Dave Ridley from RidleyReport.com, mm-hmm. where whenever he's in a place and the police order him to leave the place, he will go slowly. So he's leaving. Very slowly. Right, but he's like backing up as slowly as he can and is recording video the whole Smart. time. That's perfect. However, that did get him arrested at one point. There uh-huh. was a situation where he was in Nashua um, and he was at a hotel. It was actually the old hotel that uh, the Liberty Forum used to be mm-hmm. held at in Nashua. He's at that hotel property. They order him to leave. He's backing away as he always does, but they're like, they're in a hurry. So they wanted to arrest him for it. And he won that case in that wow. case because he was leaving. He right. was doing what right. they asked right. him to do. But again, you got to be willing to go to, to trial. And to some extent, being a journalist as she is at age, at age 12, there's some risk involved. If you're going to be talking sure. to the police, there's always risk involved because you mm-hmm. never know what nut job uh, with a gun and a badge you're dealing with and any interaction with the police yeah. you are you are risking your life yes. like that do not get that twisted any interaction with the police uh there is a chance that you are not going to walk away from that interaction alive exactly so know that in advance yes and and that's why it's so impressive to mm-hmm. see somebody Absolutely. at age age 12 Absolutely. It's ballsy. Um, taking on a cop like this free talk live Listen live 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern or grab the podcast. It's all at freetalklive.com.